welcome on back to the channel everyone hope that you're having a lovely day out there wherever you may be wherever you're standing sitting or laying down appreciate you stopping on by let's go ahead and continue on with some more of bill nelson's red noise we're moving on into the next track here which is entitled out of touch opening up side two of the album you know what See, this is one of those albums I haven't loved every single song, haven't loved every single sound, but I am really, really curious to hear how it continues to hear where it goes on. And Bill Nelson, like, I'm, you know, I, of course I enjoy his work. So uh, I'm just curious to see how this continues on. So let's go ahead and let the next song play. We will talk about it after. Let us dive on in. Cool solo. Don't know if it's Clark or Nelson. Okay, Out of Touch is fun. <laughs> Throughout the album especially, but here you really feel those electronics. Like, it's just, it's like digital discombobulation. Like, the electronics and the phone beeping sounds, it sounds like all these different lines are going to and fro. I can just like, I, I don't think this is how it was actually in the studio, but it, it seems like there's just wiring everywhere, tr creating these new sounds. All the, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> But it's so like unique and abstract in a certain form, but the way that it's used here sounds so cool, especially with, of course, Bill's guitar playing in here. Um, this kind of new wave 
interesting sound that's going on. I really liked that synth solo. At first, I thought it was a violin, but I think I don't think so. Uh, it seems that it's going to either be Andy Clark or Ian Nelson. One of them is handling those uh, those keys at that particular moment. Really nice synth solo. Bill's delivery in here is also a real kicker because of the way he rapid fired, like just spouts out his lyrics at certain moments, especially when the drums with the hi-hats come in and there's a little bit more space, a little bit of emptiness given for play. And Bill comes in just ranting and raving with his lyrics there. And then Rick Ford on the bass, his bass playing, I thought was also very enunciated and very pronounced in here, especially you can feel it in those spaces like we mentioned with um, those hi-hats there. Because... With as discombobulated and as everything is just flashing, moving, beeping, and buzzing, Rick's there capturing each of those hits on the bass and providing a really nice rhythm that doesn't make it uh, feel robotic in any way for as digital as everything sounds in here, or electronic as everything sounds. Faces in the street, eyes like mirrors, eating holes in the back of my head. I took you to my skyscraper, raped you with the tape recorder, interesting, under the bed. Maybe it's psychosomatic or the voices in my sleep that make me worry so much, but there's nothing I can do if the rumors are untrue, because I'm out of touch. Devious to the end, starve a fever, lose a friend, I'm spending Christmas in hell. Whispers on the phone, faces from some other zone, they want my head, I can tell. It feels like he's, yes, out of touch, but to, a, to an nth degree in which it's like sheer paranoia. And anxiety that's really eating him up. Maybe it's auto suggestion or terminal depression that disturbs you so much, but there's nothing to be said because my nervous system's dead and I'm out of touch. Someone's at my door, someone's heard, and someone saw. I can't remember what they said, but the faces that I've seen seem to stare at me and scream that I'm out of touch, I'm out of touch. Well, judging by the song title, what he's saying, and the lyrics, and everything, it seems a little bit uh, socially disengaged. Uh, shall we say. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the track in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter, support the channel and what I do on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here and hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.